All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can hook up your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons to your Windows 10 PC so that you can use them to play your Windows games and not necessarily have to buy a new controller. So there are two ways are you can either use Better Joy, which is a driver that's meant for the Simu Games emulator, it allows you to hook these up to your computer and then they will both act as one single controller when you enable a specific setting. The other option is you can use Steam to do the exact same thing and then all you gotta do is enable the beta version of Steam in order to get access to the latest drivers for that because they're new and they're currently experimental, but they will be adding them to the main release of the client, I'm sure relatively soon. So first up, if you need to use this, uh, if you want to use games that aren't connected to Steam, you're going to need better joy in order to get this to show up as an Xbox controller on your system. Otherwise, you're going to want to use Steam. I will show you how both options work. So if you download better joy, I'll put the link to, the, in, to this in the video description. You'll grab this little zip file here, because in this case, I just want the top thing here, better joy version 7.1 zip. This was last updated last November, so it's relatively up to date, relatively. And then I will extract this to a folder of the same name. And then inside of it, all we want is better joy for Simu. And then this will show us the controllers that we're about to hook up to our computer. So to get those controllers hooked up, let's pop open our Bluetooth and other devices settings. This is just inside of your Windows settings. Just look for the devices tab. And then inside of here, we want Bluetooth and other devices that you can see here on the left-hand side. And then go ahead and grab your actual physical controllers. So on the Joy-Cons, I'll start with the one for the left-handed side. On the back where it plugs into your Nintendo Switch, there's a round little circular button that's right next to the lights. Go ahead and press and hold on that button until the lights start to flash back and forth. That means it's in pairing mode and it can be paired with your computer. Then I'm going to click on this big plus symbol, add Bluetooth and other devices at the top of the page. This will allow me in this new pop-up window to tell it what kind of device I want to pair. And in this case, I wanted to pair a Bluetooth device. And then on this list, we should be able to see Joy-Con left. Although because I had both of these Joy-Cons just paired, it's showing both of them. But you do need to make sure you put them into pairing mode, at least at first, to get them to show up on the computer's pairing screen. I'll do the same thing to the other controller. I'll press and hold that little round button until it starts to blink. And then I'll click Add Bluetooth Device, then select Bluetooth. And there you see the right Joy-Con, the other one that I don't have paired yet. And then we are all done with getting them connected to the PC, but now we need the PC to know what to do with them. That's why we have Better Joy or why we have Steam. So if we click open Better Joy, It'll show up like this, and right now it's treating these as two separate controllers. You can see we have Joy-Con left and Joy-Con right, and if for whatever reason you drop them and they like fall behind the couch and you can't find them, you can click on this locate button and then it'll cause this to vibrate and you can hear where it is. I'm sure you can hear this on my, my microphone a little bit. But otherwise, this should just show up and be ready to roll. To roll. Um, if you don't see it for whatever reason, you can click on the Add Controller button. And here, you can see there's two very similar sounding wireless gamepad options at the bottom of this device list. These are all the different HID compliant devices that are plugged into my system. Things that could be used as a controller or something similar to a controller. And if I wanted to add these two controllers manually, because they're not already showing up, I'd click on them, click on this arrow at the top to put them into the switch controllers list, and then I would click apply, and then they would pop in over here into this list, if it recognizes them properly as switch controllers. But since they're already showing up, which this is how it should work for most people, it's pretty much either it works or it doesn't kind of driver, then we can click on the actual picture of the Joy-Cons, and they'll the picture will change from vertical to horizontal to illustrate that these are now being treated as one singular controller. And although I don't know if you can see this on your screens, but in the lower right hand corner of my computer, Steam just recognized these as an Xbox 360 controller. 
Because the way that these drivers all work, no matter which one you use for this controller or for the PlayStation controller, most of them have to pretend to be an Xbox controller to work properly on your Windows PC. So now you should be good to go, and these will function as a generic default Xbox controller, and they should function as one singular controller. Now I will note that there are some hiccups with trying to get these devices to work on your computer. Uh, sometimes one of them has an input delay and one of them doesn't. Sometimes one of them doesn't always accurately do stuff because it's got some dead zone issues with one of the sticks having stick drift. I don't really have a great fix for any of these. If you want to try it, you can try running these through DS4 Windows or try running them through Steam. Steam does allow you to run other games through it, provided they don't require their own launcher. Like if you run it through a game through Epic, you might be a little out of luck. So that's how you get better joy working, although I'm going to close that for right now because that should just be working right rock. You can go try and play your game. Otherwise, option number two is to simply go ahead and use Steam. Steam has the ability, if you go up into the upper left-hand corner and click on Steam, and go to settings. Down here under controller on the left hand side is where you'll find all of your controller settings. Now remember, I have the beta version of Steam. Right now, as of me recording this on September 5th, you need that in order to get the new driver that lets you have the Joy-Con support. If you don't have that, go to account. There's a pull down menu that allows you to switch to the beta version. You'll just quickly be asked to restart and boom, you have the beta version with all the new drivers. So inside of controllers, we want to go to general controller settings. This is going to bring up Steam's big picture mode. It's a little weird if you don't use this a lot, but stick with me. And here is the list of all of the different controllers that Steam can support. And down here is a list of all of the different controllers and everything that Steam is detecting. Although it is detecting duplicates of my stuff, and I wonder if that's because Better Joy is still running in the background, which it should not be. But all you have to do normally, just ignore these duplicates, I'll fix that later, is you go over here and you click on Switch Configuration Support, and then down here you want to combine pairs of Joy-Con controllers into a single controller. And that should reload these controllers, and there you go, boom. It redetected my controllers, got rid of the duplicates, and now it's considered just one single Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controller. So then you hit back, and boom. Now you can play with that controller. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Now you can play with that controller as a singular controller that's reading as an Xbox controller, and through these settings, you can recalibrate the controller or set up different control schemes through Steam. I'm not going to go through that today because that's its own kind of can of worms. But this, in a nutshell, has been two different ways for you to hook up your Nintendo Switch controllers to your Windows 10 PC and get them functioning as a singular controller. Or you can unclick those settings and get them to work independently if, for whatever reason, you have a game that works well on. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'll put the important links in the video description below. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.